In this example, I want to determine the standard cell potential and the net ionic equation for a redox reaction that involves silver and zinc half cells. So start with silver. Silver is Ag plus plus one electron is going to give me Ag. And standard reduction potential is based on the table is 0 0.80 volt on the other hand we have zinc zn2 plus plus two electron is going to give me zn and that's going to be standard reduction potential which is going to be negative 0.76 volt so if i want to find out the standard cell potential that's going to be delta e r cell equals to standard reduction potential for cathode minus standard reduction potential in anode that's going to be so now we need to figure out which one is cathode which one is anode so Cathode is where reduction happens, and anode is where oxidation happens. Reduction happens where we have the stronger oxidizing agent. How do we figure out which one is more oxidizing agent, which one is stronger oxidizing agent? Whoever has larger number, that's going to be stronger oxidizing agent so this one in comparing these two this one the first one is going to be silver is going to be more stronger oxidizing agent so re reduction happens here so the cathode is going to be silver and anode is going to be zinc so it's going to be 0 0.8 minus negative 0.76 that's going to give me 1.5 6 volts so that's going to be standard cell potential now I want to write down the net ionic equation so as you saw this one is going to be the reduction and this one is going to be oxidation so we have Ag we have Zn I need to flip it because electrons has to be on two opposite way Two opposite sides and since this one is oxidation it's going to be zn equals to zn2 plus plus two electrons so here in order to balance it we need to have two electrons here so i multiply the whole equation by two so therefore these two cancel out we have two ag plus plus zn gives zn2 plus plus two ag And this one is aqueous, this one is solid, aqueous, solid. So that's the net ionic equation.